What I'm going to show you today is we've got an operational serial drive control from a Raspberry Pi to our robot platform. This is a new release of the version 2 of the uh, BLDC drivers. And uh, I want to demonstrate how we're doing all of this. This is the system diagram where you can see what's happening inside the P2 on the right and the Raspberry Pi on the left. I'm going to switch over to look at our code. And what you see here then is on the left screen is I'm editing files that are sitting in Dropbox. That's the P2 source code. And on the right, over here, I'm editing files that are sitting on the Raspberry Pi. And I'm using Visual Studio, in this case, running on the Mac, as you can see, running on the Mac. And it is remoted through SSH into the Raspberry Pi. When I want to run it, I go down here and I say simply, uh, run the command. And there you see I'm running it with debug, and now it's waiting for the P2 to connect. When I'm ready to run P2 code, I then come over here to a Windows machine, which is also sitting in Dropbox. Now that it's here, I'm going to start the code right here, downloading it to the thing, to the P2. And here you can see that their messages are sending and receiving. And what I'm controlling is right here. And those are the motor commands going to the bot. And it's going to turn one wheel now as if it's turning a 90 degree corner. And what I'm talking to is this Raspberry Pi right here. It is connected via serial right here to the edge right there. These are our two motor controllers. What you also see is that this 5 volt supply is large enough. I made it large enough to actually be able to drive both the P2 and the Raspberry Pi. And so there's a splitter cable right here, which is then end connectors on both with an adapter to the Pi. And then this is a meter so I can watch power output and stuff like this. Of course, while I'm running right now under test, I'm connected to my bench power supply right there, which you can see. Um, but I also am set up to just go totally automated or totally remote and just run uh, under battery power. And that's the batteries. The batteries, the connector, the power, this power brick and things like this are all on the author's page for this bot and how I set it all up. The other thing you'll see is that I chose for these demos, the serial interface and the FlySky interface are both um, using different pins. So you can actually have the device configured up to run uh, either way and just switch by two, between the two by loading different P2 code. So that's our demo. It's all working quite well. And I thought you'd enjoy seeing it. And that's the output from the display. All right, this video accompanies the release. Um, enjoy, and uh, let's see what, what our P2 community wants to do with this kind of code.